What is going on, guys? Um, first of all, thank you very much for your feedback on my last video. I really wasn't sure if uh, a tutorial like this would be interesting for you or not. And many guys uh, said that it's very interesting and they wish to see more. Thank you for that. And uh, also, I've worked a little on my audio setup, so hopefully you'll be able to understand me better now. Um, all right. So under my last video, a user named BMP asked um, about the volumetric light you maybe saw in the last video and how this is done. So I made a little example map right here. And uh, let's say you map the floor like this and uh, then you create a light and uh, it lights up the environment and it looks really nice and all is fine, but you're missing that special eye candy, something uh, that draws the attention. So why don't you do something like this? It's, um, it has this nice volumetric effect and also it has like some dust particles or whatever it is uh, flowing around. So how did I do this? Let's fire up check and uh, check it out. All right, to create this lighting effect, you need two sprites. Um, one looks like this and uh, it's the dust particles flying around. This is from um, CS Nexon. And by the way, I highly advise you to download the game. It's free on Steam and check out the sprites because they have some amazing stuff in there. And uh, the other sprite looks like this. By the way, the lighting uh, effect isn't my idea. It, I just copied it from a map called DM Hellhole from uh, Victor 933. I will link it in the description because you should absolutely check it out. It has some very amazing brushwork, texture work and lighting. It's just out of this world. Um, all right, you need these two sprites. And uh, the particle one is rather obvious. Uh -huh. You just place it below the light and you give it a very subtle uh, FX amount. I used about 50 and that's about as high as I would go because uh, you really want this to be the, the cherry on, on the top but not too eye-catching. And uh, then the other sprite, um, this one, well, the first, um, yeah, come here. The first uh, solution would be to just place it below the, um, the light source, but uh, then you would have a nice looking sprite, but y you would miss the volumetric effect. And uh, so you have to trick a little because what you want is uh, three versions of the same sprite with the outer two slightly angled. And uh, of course, there's no way to angle the sprite. It's always oriented to its axis, but there's a trick and uh, the trick is uh, environment beam. And uh, you can see right here, I have three beams, one, two, and three. Uh, actually, let's uh, make a vis this group and assign the big sprite. this all right so I have three beams um, and each of these beams has its individual targets like it has an upper target and a lower target I used info target for that and uh, the trick is to place the beams next to each other but the lower targets spread out a little and uh, in this case you get these overlapping um, sprites and uh, on the places where they overlap, they create a 3D volumetric effect. The drawback of this method is that you don't see the sprite in editor. So you have to guess the length of the sprite. And uh, if you make the distance of the beams too long, then you will see the sprite 
will not scale, so you will see maybe like one and a half versions of the sprite. So you have to try a little bit, but once once you have the perfect distance, um, it will look really nice. Uh, also, there's sprites like this you can use for maybe if you have spotlights or I used it in like a large room where the lights are very far above the player. It uh, looks really nice. And also if you try around with this sprite overlapping, it looks really cool. And uh, on smaller lights, you can even use just two beams which are overlapping. I think this is how Victor did it. This is probably a little overkill because of course you need like nine entities and uh, th this one so it's 10 entities just for one light yeah it's maybe it's a bit much but uh, it looks cool that's it shorter video this time but i think you can get a very cool effect with just a few sprites and some trickery with the environment beams and uh, Especially if you move around, you get this nice 3D effect. Looks really cool. Thank you guys for watching. And uh, like last time, I'm really uh, curious what you think about this video. And if you think this is useful, let me know. Bye bye.